What kind of emotions did you have when they won the Super Bowl? And did you feel like you had a piece, a piece of that or some equity in that? Well, I think as a competitor, Jim, where it started was is I was gutted that we weren't in that game, you know, and um, that, that, that's where my mindset was, is that we weren't in that game. Um, and so um, it was tough for me, you know, after our last game to, to the last game of the season in the Super Bowl, that was as tough as of a stretch as I've had, you know, as a competitor. Um, and knowing that you beat that team that, that represented the AFC, um, you know, on the road. And so, um, you know, but I'm really happy for all those people um, with, and, you know, with the Rams because without those people, I wouldn't be the head coach of the Chargers. And so those guys mean a lot to me. Um, you know, and it doesn't matter, you know, who you talk about. There's too many to name, but the coaches, the players, um, you know, they were directly responsible for me earning this opportunity. So I was happy for them. And, um, you know, at the same time, you know, you know, uh, hey, 2022 is here, and you know, to be able to to earn that opportunity, how much work it's going to take. I can appreciate that response, Brandon Staley, joining me for a few more moments. So, in terms of 2022, like in the NFL right now, obviously there's a relationship between scheme and talent. Ultimately, does scheme win in this league, or do players win? Players win in this league; they always will, um, and it's their belief and their understanding of the scheme. Um, you know, that, that brings ultimately uh, an NFL game to life. Um, but players are always going to be the reason why you win and lose. And, um, you know, what? it's our responsibility as coaches, it's our responsibility as leaders of the organization to make sure our players have full belief and confidence in what we do and how we do it, and then making sure we onboard the right personnel that gives us that opportunity to become a world champion. And, and I think that, um, you know, that's where our process is, is it always starts with our people and, you know, Jim, when you talk about an NFL organization, and this is what makes sense to guys like you and to fans, is that the players are what makes the NFL special. It, they've got the toughest job in the NFL. And, um, you know, that's what's at the, the forefront of all of our thought process with the Chargers are those guys wearing shoulder pads and helmets. And um, uh, I think we're off to a great start with the Chargers, and I can't wait for this next three months to, to make our team even stronger. All right, so let me finally ask you about that then. So when you're looking to make that team stronger and you're looking for players both in free agency and the draft, obviously you're going to look for talent, you're going to look for fit, but what kind of personality characteristics are you looking for? You know, Jim, I think that you, you're just trying to establish, you know, the critical factors for the position and, 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 and letting that be your guide, um, you know, of what you see, you know, on, t- on film and making sure that, you know, you, you don't confuse what we do. Okay, what we do is, what those guys have to do um, is, is is really challenging, and you got to find the you know the, fit the parameters uh, by position. You know each side of the football in the kicking game um, to build a complete team. You know, and there's a difference, Jim, between building a championship team and a Pro Bowl team. And what you're trying to do is build a team that's deep enough, that's complete enough to beat anybody that you play. All right, regardless of the environment, regardless of the time in the season. And, um, you know, that's what I think that we have a great opportunity to do this offseason is to build a complete team, um, you know, because this league is really tough. And to go win, to go play 17 regular season games and then three or four more, um, you know, you have to have a deep team and a complete team. And I think that that's what I'm excited to, to get underway this offseason. I was going to say, I've heard you talk about that, Brandon, deep and complete. That makes sense. One quick thought. Like, when you think about the draft right now, it feels like for a number of years there has been wave after wave of receivers who show up and they can make an immediate impact. So from a defensive perspective, what does that mean for the cornerback position? And do you see the same depth at talent at corner coming in? Yeah, Jim, you just said it. And that's where the NFL is right now, is with these quarterbacks. Um, in the passing game, um, you better have guys that can cover, who can cover. And, um, you know, as, as much as everyone talks about rushers, that you know, you've probably heard that, like, well, rushers, well, you can neutralize rushers. You know, you can't, you, what you can't. So if that happens, do you have the cover guys that can hold up? You know, and, and, and to me, it's, it's onboarding as many defensive backs as possible um, who can cover, uh, who can play the ball in the deep part of the field, and who are outstanding tacklers. And so, the, the secondary is where it's at on defense in the NFL um, in terms of the passing game. Um, and then at the line of scrimmage, you got to have the guys that, you know, have the power, the, the strength, um, you know, to be at the point of attack. And so, um, you know, that's where we're always going to invest, Jim, you know, as long as I'm the head coach. And I know that, you know, Dean and Tom, um, you know, Dean, John, Tom, myself, we believe in that wholeheartedly is, is, is building a secondary um, that can go against all these, these big-time players because, 
you know, as you mentioned, you know, there are a bunch of them right now playing quarterback and receiver. You bet. Another great conversation. Brandon Staley's the head coach of the LA Chargers. They were 9-8. and eight. They've got the 17th pick in this year's draft. Brandon, really appreciate you making time for me and for the show. I know you've got a lot on your plate right now. So good to have you back, Brandon. Thanks so much. So much respect, Jim. Can't wait to see you again soon. You too. Much respect.